In the late 70s and early 80s, during the success of the Star Wars trilogy, many studios began releasing space opera movies. Some were good and some were just straight, cheap rip-offs of Star Wars. Roger Corman's New World Pictures began with films like Star Crash in 1977. Apparently, legend has it that this film was made before the actual release of Star Wars. The director, Luigi Cosi, in a variety interview called Star Crash science fantasy as opposed to science fiction. He also stated that although people assume Star Crash was an attempt to capitalize on the popularity of Star Wars, he claimed that the design of the picture and its script were developed prior to the release of Star Wars. Roger Corman saw the great appeal of Star Wars and knew that his low-budget Star Wars-inspired films would be a huge success. Battle Beyond the Stars in 1980 was inspired by the film The Magnificent Seven, the Western remake of Akira Kurosawa's film Seven Samurai. New World Pictures was responsible at this time for propelling the talents of people like director James Cameron, who was hired as the original art director for Battle Beyond the Stars, and was responsible for the majority of the special effects in the film. He would also work on the Alien-inspired film Galaxy of Terror in 1981. Another Corman-produced film, Forbidden World, would originally be released under the name Mutant and Subject 20, and was another Alien-inspired film which reused the sets of Galaxy of Terror. Regardless of what the critics say, there is an appeal to these films, which at times can come across cheesy and laughable, but are still entertaining. Let's face it, these films were not going to win any Oscars, and weren't made to be quality pictures, and were made in a very short time. The film Space Raiders, also known as Star Child, is a 1983 space adventure film written and directed by Howard R. Cohen, and produced by Roger Corman. The film starred David Mendenhall as Peter, David Mendenhall was 11 years old when he made his theatrical film debut. He featured as the son of Stallone in the 1987 film Over the Top. Space Raiders also starred Vince Edwards. TV Guide called the story a thinly disguised ripoff of Star Wars and was disappointed that they reused both the special effects and the music from Battle Beyond the Stars. The score was made up of re-edited cues from James Horner's scores of Battle Beyond the Stars, and Humanoids from the Deep. The construction was done by film editor R.J. Kaiser. The score would later be reused again for another film, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom in 1985. At this time, Roger Corman sold New World Pictures for $16.9 million in January of 1983. Under the terms of the contract, he agreed to stay on as consultant for two years, and that New World would distribute any movies he made until February 1984. The space adventure Space Raiders shamelessly rips off Star Wars and Roger Corman's own other film, Battle Beyond the Stars, for scenes of special effects. The main spaceship used in Space Raiders was a reused ship from Battle Beyond the Stars. The ship was also reused in the low-budget films StarQuest 2 and Dead Space. The effects footage from the initial space battle is all recycled from Roger Corman's Battle Beyond the Stars. The majority of sets in this movie had been used in previous films made by New World Pictures and were used in other films throughout the 1980s, including the comedy Bachelor Party. During the 3D theater and fight scene, they reused a clip used from many other Corman films. The basic synopsis used on the video release was a futuristic, sensitive tale of adventure and confrontation when a 10-year-old boy is accidentally kidnapped by a spaceship filled with a motley crew of space pirates. In the Australian cover, under the title was the words, The Ultimate Adventure in Space. The story of Space Raiders is very similar to Star Wars. This story is basically about Colonel Hawkins, or Hawk, 
played by Vince Edwards, who has to defeat the company and their massive robot ship in order to bring a young boy back to his home planet. There's even a Star Wars inspired cantina scene. Aside from the familiar content in the film, there are a lot of continuity gaps. Interesting to note that this film was speculated to be an influence behind Joss Whedon's TV show Firefly in 2002. Who knows? I recently stumbled upon this movie on YouTube and decided to watch Space Raiders and I have to say I could not look away. Being thoroughly entertained by the film, all the cheesiness aside, the insanely funny and hilarious cantina scene and the fact it was a blatant shameless rip-off of Star Wars did not in any way deter me from enjoying this film. And not to mention they had an alien character who kind of reminded me of Spock from Star Trek. I found this film enjoyable and not actually that bad and I could involve myself in the story and suspend belief for an hour and a half. What can I say, it was a fun thrill ride even though the film was terribly made and reused footage from countless other space movies. It has a significant charm to it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already.